In order to communicate with anyone in the galaxy, you need to have your very own hologram projector. And I'm going to show you how to make it. So for this project, you're going to need a magnifying glass, a box, and duct tape. So how this works is you're going to cut a hole in your box and you're going to tape a magnifying glass to the inside of the box. And then the magnifying glass is on this side and on this side you're going to make a little pouch to put your phone in. And when the phone uh, shows an image or a video, it will shine through the magnifying glass and you'll be able to see that. So the first step to making your hologram projector is to choose a box that would be big enough to put your, your magnifying glass inside. We're going to cut a hole in the box where your magnifying glass will be like a lens and then we're going to tape your magnifying glass on the inside. So what we need to do uh, before we do that is we need to tape all the edges um, so that any holes on the inside, like in the corners, uh, there's often holes. Uh, we need to seal that off so no light uh, gets inside. And I'm also going to keep the, uh, the flaps open. And we're going to use that to extend our box. So it'll sit like this. Not only does it make our box bigger, but it will also be helpful uh, to uh, keep it open so that we can adjust our phone and put our phone inside. So it'll sit like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our duct tape. And we're just going to put duct tape on all of the edges. And if you're using a knife or an exacto knife, do be careful not to cut yourself. So once you have all of the edges and the top uh, sealed off with duct tape, now we need to put our magnifying glass in. So what you want to do is you want to put the magnifying glass uh, on top and if it has a handle like this, uh, you want to make sure that there's enough room in your box so that it doesn't uh, stick out. So what you want to do is just mark off uh, how you just want to mark the edges and we are going to use um, I'm going to use a uh, an exacto knife and I'm going to cut the circle out so once you have your hole cut out then on the inside of the box you would put your magnifying glass in there now what you're going to do is you're going to use uh, your duct tape to duct tape it on the inside. Now, I made it a little large for my magnifying glass. You can make it a bit smaller so that you just see the, uh, the lens and that's all. And what I'll also do is on the outside, I'll put a little bit of duct tape um, around the edge so that it looks a little more decorative.
So once I've rounded out uh, the duct tape that I uh, put on the circle, then I would put it right on the magnifying glass. You just want to cover as much of the, the magnifying glass as possible. So you just get uh, the, the lens. So once you've done that, uh, then you can actually make something on the inside to hold your phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a little pocket for my phone. And you can do this with uh, just tape or you can use some cardboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this to the inside so it's like this. So when I put my phone inside, it can sit right in here and be supported. So I'm going to put the duct tape right like that and then tape it to the inside. So now that you've had a chance to make your own hologram projector, you can put your phone in the pouch on the inside and the image will play through the lens on the wall. So you need to be in a dark room for this to work. And your image also needs to be upside down on your phone. Now the reason that it needs to be upside down is because the lens works a lot like your eyeball. When the image goes through the lens, the lens will invert the image, which means it will turn it upside down. So when the image or the video plays upside down, the lens will invert it so that it plays right side up. So there is an, a setting in your phone that you may need to change that so that when you turn your phone upside down, the image will remain upside down and it won't write itself. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's actually a really interesting uh, science experiment to make this and uh, see the image shine through the magnifying glass onto the wall. Thanks for joining me.